Hi welcome back to Tekken channel. In today's video, we're going to walk through the process of setting up Kali Linux as a live bootable USB with persistence. This means you can run Kali Linux directly from your USB drive and save your data and settings across sessions. Let's get started. Step 1, Download Rufus and Kali Linux. First, we need to download two essential tools. Open your web browser and go to the official Rufus website, which is rufus.ie. Download the latest version of Rufus for Windows. Now, head over to the official Kali Linux website, which is kali.org. Navigate to the download section and choose the Kali Linux live image suitable for your system. Make sure it's the live version. Step 2. Create Kali Linux live bootable USB. Once both Rufus and the Kali Linux image are downloaded, insert a USB flash drive with at least 8 GB of storage into your computer. Open Rufus. Inside Rufus, make sure your USB drive is selected under Device. Then, click Select and choose the Kali Linux lib image you downloaded earlier. Under Partition Scheme, select MBR if your computer uses BIOS or GPT if it uses UEFI. In the File System section, choose FAT32, and in the Cluster Size, you can leave it as default. Now, in the Volume Label field, you can give your USB drive a name, like Kali Linux Live. Check the Create a Bootable Disk Using option and select ISO Image. Then, click Start. A warning message will appear, notifying you that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Make sure you've backed up any important data, and then click OK. Rufus will now format the USB drive and create the bootable Kali Linux Live USB with persistence. Step 3. Test on Real Machine or Virtual Machine. You have two options for testing your Kali Linux Live USB with persistence. You can either use your real machine or create a virtual machine. Option A, real machine. If you want to use your real machine, simply insert the USB drive into your computer and reboot. Make sure to change the boot order in your BIOS or UEFI settings to boot from the USB drive first. Option B, virtual machine. To use a virtual machine, open VirtualBox. In the VirtualBox Manager, click New to create a new virtual machine. Give it a name, select Linux as the type, and choose Debian, 64-bit, as the version. Allocate sufficient RAM and create a new virtual hard disk. Finish the virtual machine creation process. Before starting the virtual machine, go to Settings, navigate to System, and under the Boot Order tab, move Optical to the top. Now, start the virtual machine and select Choose a Virtual Optical Disk File. Browse and select the Kali Linux Live USB ISO you created earlier. Make sure to enable Virtualization VTX, in your BIOS slash UEFI settings if it's not already enabled. Step 4. Start Kali Live Boot Machine. Finally, start your Kali Linux Live Boot Machine. It will boot directly from your USB drive, and you'll have a fully functional Kali Linux system with persistence. Benefits of using Kali Linux as a live machine. Now, let's discuss some advantages of using Kali Linux as a live machine without installing it on your system. Portability, you can carry your Kali Linux environment with you on a USB drive, making it accessible on any compatible computer. Privacy, no traces are left on the host machine since you're running Kali from the USB drive. This is perfect for maintaining privacy and security. Data persistence, you can save your configurations, tools, and data on the USB drive and access them in future sessions. No installation, you don't need to modify or install Kali Linux on your host machine, reducing the risk of conflicts and compatibility issues. Testing and learning, it's an ideal way to test Kali Linux, practice ethical hacking, or learn cybersecurity without commitment. Thank you for watching today's tutorial on setting up Kali Linux as a live bootable USB with persistence. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. See you in the next video.